so many times when people see me, they just assume that everything has been easy. She can eat what she wants. She can do what she wants. Life has just been a dream. And they don't realize that, you know, I'm a two-time rape survivor. I've also been through things like, uh, you know, the weight, the weight battle, because of course, after going through a trauma, I put on 50 pounds. There are so many factors that actually get in the way of what we're doing, but we're all driven by something in the moment that we're making choices. To identify what's driving us, it helps us make sure that we are not going to um, interfere with our ability to assess what we're about to do. I definitely have an incredible keen sense of intuition. I've had it ever since I was a child, and I think that not only the curiosity that I possess, but the openness and the willingness to learn and humble myself to say, what is it? What is what allows me to see and hear things that a lot of other people just don't pay attention to. What is it that's getting in our way? And that's what I'm speaking to, and I'm coming from a place of you know, having been in the trenches and learned the lessons the hard way. So I, I'm not beating up on anybody. I'm saying, look, you guys, this is what we need to do so that we can give ourselves that power to get what we want. Instead of seeing me as some sort of an expert necessarily, they actually see me as a partner because I've been where they've been. And with every single person I work with, I'm looking for where is the part of me in them and where is the part of them in me? And then boom, we're connected and it's open and everything can happen. It's magical. Thank goodness you've dumped his ass. Use those Mr. Wrongs to lead you straight to Mr. Right, because I'm a firm believer in recycling all your experiences into tools that propel your success. And in the relationship realm, women have so many books, self-help books, telling them, think this, do da 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 yeah. And it gets so confusing, and they're so over-analytical about everything, and it just disempowers them in relationships. So, 2011, time for a business handbook to master the business of attracting relationships. And that's what this is. I came out of this seven year trauma and repressing that trauma and being somebody other than me. And here I was so excited to live my life and go forward. And so my boss at the time gave me these people and she said, oh, call them, they'll be great. So I, I remember I called the first one and I said, guess what? You know, I know what I did. I just came out of this experience and I know I just didn't think I could be me. And you know, I'm thinking we could sit down and maybe just make sure, is there anything else I should look for? And she said, oh no, it doesn't work like that. And and the second, I got the same thing from the second person, two like two minute phone calls. And I said, you know what? I'm doing this myself. And then I realized through that process, that's it. I am supposed to be the, the person for other people that I can't find. The power of a relationship is you. You're the only common denominator. And usually you, you say the hindsight's 2020, and as time goes on, you get more and more information about your ex. Yeah. But the reality is that doesn't help you. What helps you is to figure out why were you there? Why did you choose him? Why did you stay? And who were you in that relationship? Then you're in the position to make corrections that are now going to change the results you get in the future and get you what you want. It's never about whether you're married, whether you're not married. It's always about what are the choices you're making and the actions you're taking on a daily basis and how do they match up with the big picture of what you want. And if you haven't really looked at the big picture in a while, mm -hmm. you're probably off track. If I'm doing my job properly, then they're getting tools, they're understanding exactly who they are, they're learning how to own their weaknesses along with their strengths and make them work and also understanding how to look at all the situations in their lives, not get bogged down in the details and say, I've seen this before, oh yeah, there's my tendency, I see it trying to happen again, now I got it. They nail it, they correct it, they move forward. That's me, that's how I work with my clients. <laughs>